Okay, what do you remember? I remember I'm supposed to square up my club face. Yeah? And I'm supposed to Attention take a shirt about the bit. Okay, what was that one again? Okay, I have to close up my face. I have to work on like how I approach the golf ball and my downswing. I have to work on shorter backswing and being more laid off at the top and following through the golf ball because otherwise it won't go far. Okay. Okay, a couple more. Well, you're coming to sleep because that right shoulder's getting out. But that was probably the best one of the bunch, but it's substantially flat, correct? Okay, my, um, if you stand back there where your dad is, See how far, how these divots are all substantially left of your target? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we come in and take your five iron, you tell me when you think your five iron's pointed at that flag. Right now. Okay, that, that I mean, perfect right at it? Yeah. Okay. So you give me a shot. How's that? That's still good? Mm -hmm. Right about there. And your only goal is to give me a divot that's parallel to that shaft on the ground. I don't care if the ball goes backwards. Okay. I'm going to take a peek. See if it's going across. Okay. So, your path, if you've got other stuff, you can talk about your forearms and being across the line and everything, but your path is left, so you've learned to try to straighten up or try to do something else to keep the ball in line and it doesn't work very well. My whole deal, Steve, give me an address position, Sierra. And Steve, come on over here. Okay. What I'm saying, you're A, see how the grip is behind the club face? So yes. It's already, just kind of got this and this going with the shaft arm. Sure. That ball position needs to come back to here. The hand position needs to go forward to here. Okay. So if I would go maybe here and there, probably looks more like the rest of the kids. Okay. You know, more of a tour position. Okay. And a little then further left. On her backswing, I'm seeing, and I'm exaggerating, stop moving your shoulders. I'm seeing this, and then what you see is that right shoulder coming out is her shoulders. Okay, I'm done with my backswing. But because it was more of an arm swing, she starts down with her shoulders, right shoulder gets out, she's across because she hasn't rotated her upper body as much as she's flung it back with the arm. Too much of an arm swing, not enough shoulder yeah. turn on the back swing. Yeah. And then she has nowhere to go except... Right across. Right across the top. And then you, you start stick it in the ground. So she's standing up because she doesn't mm -hmm. want to stick it in the ground. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of this stuff is a response to... To the back swing. To the back swing. And the shoulder turn, really. So what I would do... Okay. Do you have any tees there, Ace? I got tons of tees here. There we go. Perfect. Swing. That's what dads are for. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to see, and this is about the only thing I can do that won't uh, cause me to go screaming, can you stand over there, please, but not in the way of the camera, is I want you to hit me a couple shots where you get your shoulder blades, when they stop, and I don't care where they stop, when they stop, the arms stop. We're not going to see this as much as we're going to see... I don't care how long it is, but the hands and the grip are going to stay right in front of your shoulders. Okay. And I'd like these to be maybe half swings with a full wrist hand. Okay, all right. Your right shoulder, say for instance I took a highlighter and it rode all over your shoulder, as silly as that would be. I'm going to make a big mark right there. Your dad's got the camera on this back swing. Hide this, don't come back with your arms. Get this shoulder, okay, relax, relax, relax. There. See, and I'm pushing this down. That's about equal amounts. Your hands are right in front of your sternum. 
Everything's out in front of you. You're used to being more there. You know, not quite, but that's the exaggeration. You'll feel your arm more across your body instead of out there. We're not moving the shaft really any place differently. It's this, you know, this is a, a poor example. She's not that short versus mm -hmm. that. A lot more spacing, better gaps. You'll be able to develop better lag. And especially now this is behind inside where she can come down and hit from the right. But when she does this and the arms keep going, that's what's getting her across the line. You used to say it was a feeling of maybe like the right shoulder going back more relative to left almost. In other words, well, sometimes I'd take a backswing and my left would move, but my right would yeah, stay in the, the same place. The left shoulder place. isn't the focal point because it doesn't force the right shoulder out of the way. The right shoulder, if, if I just pull this shoulder here, uh -huh. she can't keep her left shoulder over her foot. I'm okay. gonna, but I, she can keep this shoulder here if I push this one. Yeah. It doesn't have to move. But here, I want to see more wrist hinge by the time we get there. Okay. Where Sierra's up here like, you know, yeah. like that. Yeah. And I want that dude Earlier. locked and cocked, ready to go. Okay. Because now now she can say, oh, screw it. I'm going to stop and come down and hit it, or I'm going to make a bigger shoulder. Okay. All right. But I don't, I don't want to wait. Like when you and I were kids, hinge it at the top. Right. There's not a world-class player out there that isn't right. loaded and set. Right. By the time the left arm's parallel to the ground. Yeah, Seve used to be really early. Nicholas used to be really late. Yeah. Nicholas was a snap loader, and Seve was, you know, really early. And Hogan yeah. was probably in the middle, I'd say. Yeah. yeah, but now the modern guys are... They're all early? Yeah. Really? Interesting. Hmm, okay. All right. So give me the drill. Okay. Good now. More, more wrist cocks here. Go up there here. again and stop. Okay, everybody's great. That's what it's going to feel like. To you, this is going to feel like less arm swing and a bigger shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay? But this the huge there, that needs to be down at the ground as opposed to up there. That's where it starts. It's right now, at the beginning of your swing, it's pointed at your hip. Right? Mm -hmm. They're each pointed at their respective hips. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. So if I was just going to push you right here and say, okay, we're just going to use your torso. Okay? You're, yeah. You're going to, but you're going to take, you're going to hand me that golf club with your torso. Bam hinge your wrists, and now up over the shoulder. You're down the line, elbows are good, everybody's perfect. Feel how much contact you have in the top of your left arm with your pack. Not very much. Okay, that's your right arm. We finally figured out the problem. Okay, so if you feel, don't move your shoulders, that left arm wrap across your body, we're in trouble. And that's what your backswing is going to feel like when you don't use this and you do this. And that's how you hit it. Shoulders way open, club face way back, and that's where the contact suffers. Yeah, right, bingo. You are capable of making a backswing with your arms. It just isn't very productive. Great. When your shoulders stop, stop the golf club. Stop the arms. Yep. But just give me some, give me some wrist hands. A much better shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. A little late on the wrist hinge. Right. Really, cock those wrists early, Sierra. Just let's just give me give me a couple, Sierra, where we're just doing shoulders. Don't worry about the wrist hinge. We'll, we'll get on that in a second. But you get that right shoulder, and I want and I, what I'm talking to your dad about is I want this right shoulder to go back down to the bottom. I want this right shoulder to, to not kind of wait, start me a backswing, and not sit there. I want this guy to get out of the way early. I want you to hit this position fairly quickly in your backswing. I don't want the club to move to say here. And then your shoulders go, oh shoot, we've got to get back here. Because that's going to put you in a bad position. Kick that right shoulder, make that right shoulder disappear behind you right away. There you go, bingo. That make sense? And we'll worry about the wrist hinge a little bit later. Perfect. Now, that's the first one that your path has been straight. And God knows how long. Okay, contact stunk, but the path was straight because we got straight ball flight. And that one you actually made a equal amount shoulder and arm back swing. Tiger used to talk about that feeling of keeping the club in front of his chest. Yeah, yeah, you know, she's that, got it behind her chest. Yes, yeah. Mainly because the torso isn't just is, is not doing enough work to start. That's all it is. 
it's trying to play catch up and it doesn't quite make a okay, ball position. Here, further back in the stance, and you give me a tiny bit of forward press there. Yeah. Great. Wrist hinge was half, but the shoulder position was awesome. Now, and there's none, give me an address position. There's none of this. This is just, yeah. Yeah, you, I'm going to go back down to the bottom. I'm going to put you in a box, a tube, pardon me. It's this big. You can do whatever you want inside. Go ahead and drop the golf club just so you don't whack me with it. You're going to make me a back swing. Yeah, back swing. This shoulder comes back this way. Now, can you get this shoulder over to the other side of the, this side of the tube? Bam, that's okay. You can do whatever you want inside here. But we're not going to be, you know, doing this and this and, you know, lateral motion is not good. Well, she had it both on the backswing and the forward swing, didn't she? Yeah. Really, a lot of it. No, but that's because, you know, how much do you weigh? 95 pounds doesn't, mm -hmm. especially when the torso isn't turning, doesn't give you a whole lot of power, so you start, mm -hmm. you know, sliding into it. And we've got, okay, ball position. Again, well, there you go. And when you do this, this is a two-part fix. Ball position is right about there now. And the grip, the guy that designed these clubs, there you go. And you just think right inside. Here's the middle of your left leg. Just inside is where this is going to point. Your dad's filming that. You've been back here like by the belt buckle. So we get too big of an angle here and, and not much of an angle. We're going to decrease and increase there. Okay. okay? We're never going to let this bow out like that unless you're trying to punch it underneath a tree or you know, something fancy. Perfect. Awesome. All right. It's all right. Now, when you force that, okay, ball position and grip there. Keep there. Good there. Excellent. Okay. Give me three more. Just keep the club in right in front of your chest as you go back. Not really that worried about where they go. Okay, ball position. Ah, there you go. Hands, excellent. Okay, a little short, but everybody was together. That's why it went dead straight. Okay. Straight is good. Okay. Now, same deal on your tube. We talked about you doing this, going back. Yeah, you kind of went. Give me some spin. There you go. Oh, ball position. There you go. That's the best one yet. Okay. All right, now let's add a little length to this. Uh, if you had to say that was a percentage of a full backswing, you know, best possible scenario at your 95 pound bruising beat him up weight is this shoulder if it can get over your left toe rotating we'd be much happier if this shoulder gets to there and I'm looking at this part of your back now yeah you're by that point yeah you're all the way up here that's great but again this arm is out here it's not choking like that that's the feel when you don't turn the shoulders you're gonna feel this and everything's gonna get my left arm is just going to be across my body instead of in front of me. There's, there's all kinds of space here to here. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, exactly. You just stand like this, extend your arms, okay? Make, put your hands like this, okay? Now, if you're going to pop me, you're going to hit me right in the chest. Bam, you know, what's going to hurt more? This with your whole body, or if I say, okay, you can hit me with the arm. Yeah, you can't even get me. So again, if, if you're going to make 95 pounds and get noticed, bam, first part, there and then hinge and now we're going to go a little bit up but we're never going to pull it across the bottom make sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like that it's all right okay ball position good and pass uh, whoops Oh, I missed that. Talent there, huh? Okay, ball position. What? Oh, 
Okay. I gotta get said anything about ball position. You give me what's comfortable to you and honest. Steve, go ahead and stand over there. I okay. haven't said beans about ball position. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna mimic your stance. So I want you to move one foot at a time out of the way. Okay. That one. Now you stand over there by your dad. Is that where the ball looks like it is to you? Sierra, move a little to the side. It's probably yeah. farther forward than it seems like. You would have bet me lunch money for a week that that was much farther back in your stance, right? So over time, you've just gotten used to this. That's why you're fighting me a little bit. I keep saying ball position. You look down and like, what's he talking about? It's, it's fine. Well, it's now you can kind of get outside of you and go, ah, it's not where I think it is, right? So, without getting every golf club you own out of your bag, we're going to put this one here now. Try to create a nice 90, set of four 90 degree angles. Now give me, what, a couple inches off the, what, you know, what do you guys consider? Usually one inch off the left heel. Yeah. Well, but what's the, what's the difference? Now again, the modern, modern theory. Here's my sand wedge. You can tell me that's the middle of my stance, right? Okay, here's my driver. That's the front of my stance. Well, relative to my left, my left foot's the constant, my right foot's the variable. I'm trying to hit down on a sand wedge, so I'll have my body weight, my center, which is my sternum, right on the ball. So the bottom of my arc is the center of my body weight. I hit down on it. Driver, I'm trying to hit up on it, slightly. So I take this big step, I move my center back behind the ball, so the bottom of my arc is now here, so I catch the ball on the upswing. I mean, ever so slightly, but on the upswing. A whole lot easier, again, than when your dad and I were learning how to play golf. The driver's here, the wedge is there, and everything else is in between. If I have a big club, I take a big step with my right foot. If I have a small club, I just leave it there. Make sense? So, and when it, you, pick the, you pick the amount. One inches, two inches, three inches, just keep it, stay consistent with it. So ball, ball back and hands a little forward, Sarah. Yep. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a, a smaller angle with the left wrist and a bigger angle with the right wrist. You, she'll feel more like this than like that. You know, how many times have you seen a ring? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he coming this year, by yep, the way? that's what I heard. He just, I saw Joe St. George, who's a kind of a goofball friend of his. Uh-huh. Uh, he's the one that gave Brink the Bible that said Jesus had 13 brothers and sisters. If, I don't know if you heard that story. Uh, I, see, I saw him today and he said he's coming back Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, okay. All right. All right. Let's see it, Coach. Okay, grip. Where's the point? There you go. Keep going. A little, more, a little more. There, perfect. That was a much better golf swing. A little steep coming down. Let me put it this way. It was a much better golf swing to the top. Um, it just feels so probably gross to you that you don't really know what to do yet from the top. Steve, film from this side. Okay. And that, that was I a good thought one. was outstanding. Okay. Take enough time, Sierra, to give me a little quick inventory. Okay, the ball position, good. Where is the butt of the grip pointing? Not good. There. Okay. Now just give me the move. Not as good as the last one, but still, that looks more like a backswing than what she was doing half an hour ago. Okay. Know, or does that look... Looks different. Yeah. Really, the divots look different. Everything looks different. The dress looks different. Okay, now, you ready? Come here, adjust position. With that. I mean, you would agree with me that this club's going at that flight, right? Okay. So where would your shoulders be pointing? This was a perfect alignment. A little bit to the left. Or to the right. Mm -hmm. We're now we're guessing. It would be. Wouldn't they it be would pointed be. where your feet are pointed? Isn't that a safe assumption? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do you want to hit it a little? Well, see, 
sometimes I can open one of these. Okay. Well, I, if we were just going by the book, wouldn't the book say that your feet yes. and your shoulders should be pointed at the same place? Okay. So give me a by the book address position. And you tell me when you are absolutely perfect by the book. Three. Don't move. Okay. Now, get out of there. Stand back and look. No. Substantially to the left of where you thought you were. Now, where's why would somebody as well-meaning as you, again, come over the top of it and across it? Because your shoulder blades think the target's over there. They're You're making going it... Where they're supposed to go. Well, they're starting where they're supposed to go. They might not always end up there. You're also making it harder if, if this, and I'll do this for your dad because it's with the camera. If this is my target line and I start my shoulders here, I've been asking you to make a bigger shoulder turn for half an hour. Heck, you already started. You're giving yourself your shoulders an extra four inches to go anyway. So you're making harder on your shoulders. Make sense? So let's get them square. They won't have as far to go to get me to that position we're after. Now, if, if she moves her hands forward, though, at a dress, does that tend to open up her no, shoulders? Not moving necessarily. moving the ball position back. And, and that's the other reason her shoulders oh, are open. Oh, okay. So the ball's too far forward. Moving the ball back, Because well, here's me going. Oh, there's the ball. Okay. And that's, Got it. That's that position. So ball back. Ball I'll, back. But we'll same deal. That. Here's me with the ball too far back in my stance. There you go. I get shot. Got it. All right. Got it. Position set up, set up, set up, set yeah. up, set up. We haven't really said, other than, you know, equal amount shoulder turn and arm swing, mm -hmm. a lot of this stuff, the setup started, yep. and then you start that chain reaction. and. Luckily for guys like me, it doesn't take long to, to go from 38 to 50. And Nicholas used to say 80% of the golf swing is in your address position. Yep. Okay, take a look down. Over there you go. Okay, where's that grip? I need to come over here and give you my little... You, know, I, you tell me, Steve, when's that inside of the left thigh? That looks okay, right, right there. And to you, that looks like it's past your left leg. Yeah, and it's not. It's forward leaning, and but it's not. And you'll see that on the, on the tape. What's this angle? Okay. What's this? I, you just key on one of them. You're comfortable What about right there, right? Isn't that where she's been hanging out? Yeah. That's straight. This is a little cut. Straight. Straighter, straighter, cut. But if you get one of them right, the other one will have to be right as well. Okay, shoulders. Close them just a hair. Here, for, oh, uh, sorry, un unclose. Looking down at the ball, and only the ball. Ready? You, you've got to see more of this shoulder out of your peripheral vision than this shoulder. Wouldn't you agree? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to kind of clamp down on your head. Now you move your shoulders around until you see equal amounts of here and here. Now again, if you stand back there, those shoulders are much closer to square than they were. Mm -hmm. you know, actually, a little. She overcooked a little bit. Right. Her hair closed. Right. right. We're probably looking for that. Right. Okay, now just go ahead and hit that one. Just you're there, just pull the trigger. Good turn. Straight. Okay, right, now there was. Physics is a wonderful thing, isn't it? it when it works, it's a beautiful <laughs> it's thing. It's hard. When it doesn't work, it stinks. Um, give me another one of those. And and take. You know, we're not going to get through all these balls because I want you to be really. Okay, foot, got it. Grip, got it. Shoulders, got it. Now hit it. And forget about all that jump. Yeah, yeah, just make me the turn. A little bit of extra travel, you'll see on that swing at 6, 535, you'll see the shoulder blade stop and maybe a couple inches of, uh -huh. you know, reaching for some extra mileage. We want to get mm -hmm. used to the idea. I don't care if the hinge happens. Uh -huh. Once the shoulder blades have stopped, because that's the shaft, so the okay. shaft can keep moving, right. but the arms stop when the shoulders stop. Okay. Period. End of story. No negotiations. Got it. Because that's when they wrap uh -huh. for you, me, and everybody else. Good. Fantastic address position. Well, grip a little farther. Bingo. Go. Yep. A little slide forward, but. A lot of this is now, you know, get four buckets of walls tomorrow and get her to the top. If we go 
I asked you to, when we started this whole mess to make me a divot to the left of the tar or at the target. And I would bet you have a better chance now from your address position. Whoa. Okay. Just make me a divot that's parallel to that shaft that line. Shoulders are perfect. Okay. Here's this. Face is open. I feel like I did this this time. Which was what? Nah, it, wasn't, it wasn't your greatest turn, but what does somebody do? And, and this isn't me trying to turn you into the next teaching professional in your class. But what does somebody do whose club's going this way, if the target's over there? What do you have to do with the club face? You have to open it. Right. So here's this divot. You can't really see it, but it starts like this and ends like that. Face open, face open. Because it was a nice path, it went to the right. But every time, if I would have started this, because you've got three things. Set up. you got to move the ball position, get the arms, get the shoulders, get everybody back where they're supposed to be. Then we got to get the shoulders doing more work on the backswing and having them responsible for the backswing. On the follow through, we've got to keep the club face square to the chest. If we would have started with, okay, Sierra needs to release, you would have been hitting at 50 yards left and about this high off the ground. Because at an impact, you would have been like this, and instead of trying to keep the club face open to get the ball to go at the target, I'm over here saying release it, and, and you're killing somebody in Alvernon. And you, you won't want to make that change because you're not getting a good result. Right. Okay, so we get the sequence here is to get you to start hitting it to the right. So now for number three, Sierra, come on, square up the club face. Like, yeah, yeah, good idea. Because okay. now the ball's going to the right. It's interesting. Does that make sense? Well, it's just the sequence is as important or more important than the the substance. Yeah, and I was having her do a lot of lower body stuff. To me, it looked like she was coming out this way, so I was having her saying, mm -hmm. try, try to keep your right foot down longer, try she to... wasn't making enough back swing to your hips lower and body so forth. any chance to do anything. But we weren't working on upper body hardly at all, other than the over-the-top move and mm -hmm. the... Uh, and the... Uh... Good there, so everybody's cool. But, uh... Look at that, straight. Can I go like higher than I've ever yeah, she's been yeah, she's been well, hitting, what do you do? hitting a you lot of low it? when you get ahead of it. Yeah, you get ahead of it and you're shutting down the club face. It's uh -huh. I mean this is there you go, excellent. See like more of a rotation around that spine. Mm -hmm. A lot less yeah, movement but, right to no, left. And or? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that, that her head that I have to come over here and make this tight little dot that she can't move right. off of. I'm I'm she can move I'm all inch. for lateral. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. I mean, uh -huh. I, I don't think the, the the skeletal structure, if I was on a vertical position, then my head shouldn't move. Okay. Because I can do this. Uh -huh. But when I start to tilt and I rotate, there's got to be some, you know, my, my, it's going to have an effect of looking like my head's moving because uh -huh. at this angle, my, my face will effectively be wider probably on the back side. Mm -hmm. And if you look at... Uh, Curtis Strange. He's got two more US Open trophies than I do. So who am I to say you can't move your head? Mm -hmm. Laterally. There's nobody that's made 20 cents that goes vertical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Hal Sutton. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you, you, you can, how do you argue with those two guys? Mm -hmm. um, and it, you know, shoulder turn should be, I mean, uh, this is just same, same. I'm just going to ask you to be a little bit more methodical as you practice the, okay, how are the shoulders? How's the grip? Once you get it, forget about it. Now, give me the good turn. Little, again, you'll see a little extra travel with the mm -hmm. arms at the top there. Okay. You'll, and if you can break it down, you'll see the torso stop. And the arms and keep the, going and those, a little those bit. Those two arms just go, uh -huh. Not bad, but that was bad. No, that, that one you just... Once your shoulders stop, your arm stops here. Yeah. And now you can kike your wrist though, that's okay, but just, we're talking about arms compared to the shoulders. Yeah, hide that right shoulder from your dad. Okay, ball position, shoulders, gotta come a little more to the right. There you go, sweet. That way, and there's, now just keep it square to the chest. Everybody was good, 
but that was the open club face, mm -hmm. which she's had to do. Because she was outside in. Outside in, right. So once she gets the rest of this fixed, she's going to have to square up that right. club face. Yeah, the, she, it's, a, it's a good sign when she starts getting balls solidly that start at the target for and a fade. Light and drift. Because then she has to just square now it up just, and... Now just keep the club face square. All right. Perfect. And that one you'll see all kinds of extra arm travel. Okay. Now, is the reason that she sometimes hits it off the toe, is that because she's she she losing her posture? Goes up and it gets real steep, and yeah, she's pulling out of it. Yeah. Her body yeah. weight just gets... Trapped. Or maybe it's getting steep with that over-the-top move, yeah. that, that right shoulder move. Yep, you just come up, and that right shoulder stops, and we're toast. Huh. Now, give me your dress position. So this isn't necessarily going to look like a longer backswing. It's just the arms. The club, it's just the arms compared to the shoulders. Right. Yeah. If you look at the club, we don't want to. We don't want to move the club. Right. The club was in a great place. It was just delivered by the wrong body part. Okay. Careful. So here's here would be the old versus you know versus the new. Okay. Kind of, Got it. You know, that, and that's an unfair exaggeration. Mm -hmm. All right. This is lagging on me. You start at this. You just right away. I don't care if you think full push, but I want this dude just... Elvis is leaving the building. Yeah, there you go. Good. Bingo. Right now, it's almost going to feel to you, because your... Yeah, your torso is chasing your arms, for lack of a better term. I want your arms to feel like they're chasing your chest or your torso. You know? So, So, Sierra, try one swing like this. Where you almost leave the club there and and drag it. What if I do this? I do that, and I'm like. This just hold. Yeah, yeah. yeah just for just for the good. heck of it. Try, that's what it'll feel like. Yeah, absolutely. That's but what that's it'll feel what like. That's why I want you to hit me a shot. Give me a try one like position. that, just for fun, just for I fun. I do this. And you start me a back swing, and I let go. Just yeah. gonna see what it looks just like. Just see what happens. Mm -hmm. Perfect. No, I didn't do it. Yeah. No, that was, well, you did. There it is. Mm-hmm. Right on the line. A little high, but right on line. They're supposed to be high. Mm-hmm. But that first one was a, when you said, oh, I didn't do it right, yeah. was a great back swing. It was? It wasn't the exaggeration you were talking about, but it was a nice one-piece torso. There you go. There. Yeah, but just, and I'm not going to be that greedy about the wrist. That's the least uh -huh. of her problems right now. Okay. But that, that would be my next... Next thing to work on. Next me. complaint. So you'll start hitting your 7 wood higher now, because you're hitting it like a 7 wood so instead of a 3 wood. And, and in the twisted world we live in, it won't go as far, but it's not supposed to go. But it'll be straight. Yeah, straight and high. Definitely not as much follow through turn as I normally would have. Right. Definitely not as much backswing shoulder turn. I don't know. Do you like hitting jaws? Hmm? Do you like hitting jaws? Used to. Oh, I haven't hit a bucket of balls, Sierra, as practice. I've hit balls to warm up, but I haven't hit a bucket of balls to practice probably in three years. Wow. Wow, that is a long time.
it's fine. You're going to go too fast. Way out in front of that one. Okay, got it. Oh. So that's what we're still looking good there. You see a lot of that one. A lot of arms? Yeah. I mean, it was okay. great. There's, 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 a, there's a bigger shoulder turn, but they stop. And but they stop, the arms keep going. Yep. And it's, that's where we've got, a, we've got a transplant arm stop pin. She's okay. trying to move the club head. There you go. Should she, should she start actually for an early hinge way down below? No, or? I'm thinking right there. It's so just, just mid, midway, there. midway hinge. Yeah. For mean, if, if I was going to break it down, one piece there. By the time this gets parallel to the ground, that's pointing at the ground. Got it. All so right. Here to there. Even with the driver? Yep. Okay. So you won't be able to, you won't be able to, you won't hit that position, but that's what we're trying. Okay. And, and you're going to laugh at me, but that was a better backswing. And you kind of barfed on me on the downswing, but the shoulders got real steep there. And you didn't, you didn't stay level like you did on that practice one. Okay, where's the grip? There you go. There you go. Excellent. Stop the arm. Let the wrist hinge if you want. Closer there, but you'll see on that, you'll see it impact. You made an impact and just rotate your shoulders towards the target. Yeah, more like that. Uh huh. Where her arm is almost like this. Yes. And the upper body's left the building. Okay. You've got to get me, you've got to hit me in the ankle and the hand at the same time. You know, and you're getting one, two, three. No law, open, glancing blow. With a nine iron, you got 48 degrees aloft. Ball gets airborne. Your driver, you got 12, 10. You just hit this, you know, knee high, toe. Now you don't get it up in the air, so you're trying to lift. So keeping keeping the left arm in front of the chest is true, not only in the backswing, but as you're coming down. Oh yeah, down, absolutely. It, it's kind of like a space between. Yeah. Yeah. If I could come in and put a, you could make a styrofoam wedge right uh -huh. here for whatever space I have. Uh huh. It should be there. And I'm there in, still. Yeah. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't fall behind yeah. even on the Remember downstairs. The, I mean the Hogan Five Fundamentals, the little handkerchief? Yeah. You know, that handkerchief, okay, I've got it there. Yeah. I'm cheating. You know, I've got my whole armpit, but I'm still, I'm going to have it there. You know, if I do that, I drop it. Right, right, right. right. You know. Got it, yeah. But yeah, she tends to be probably too right. much. Yeah, there's too, too much, much compression. Left arm on the chest. Right, because the left arm keeps going. Uh -huh. At the top of the back swing. At the top of the back swing. Yeah. And that was, that's a really short shoulder turn. I'll try to make it bigger. More shoulder, less arms. There you arms. go. Yeah. And if we can just get her body to think she's going to finish the back swing with a wrist hinge instead of an arm swing, she's going to be in good shape. Everything stopped a little bit sooner on that one. But that's not where we want to stop. She got away with stopping everything early, but she hits her driver 20 yards shorter where she hits the seven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and that, I think it's the wrist hinge that, that's got to pick up the slack here. So it's kind of three levers, if you will, Sierra. There's the shoulders, the left arm, and, and then there. the shaft. Give me that move. Give me that yeah. move on a ball. Late wrist hinge, if you want. I don't care, so but shoulders, left arm, there, there. Okay, now you're gonna go back one more time, make that swing. I'm gonna do this slowly. Okay, come back. I'm gonna do this. But now that stops. I'm not stopping this. You can do everything you want, but I'm gonna give you a kind of. I'm gonna handcuff you there. I'm not gonna let you come up, but I'm. I'm gonna let this do whatever you want. So the hands will look a little lower, probably. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And and there'll be more space between her head and the hands this way. Theoretically, the, yeah, the hands hands will be much farther away from the body. Even though she has a bigger. Oh man, was that awesome! Even though she has a bigger shoulder turn. Right. Yeah, that was better, Sierra. So big shoulder turn, hands. Uh, keep them to your right, not behind you. Yep. That's probably the best better. field driver you've hit in a while. And that's that was the first 
look we've had at something that was like a hinge finish mm -hmm. instead of an arm finish. Cool. There you go. See, I keep moving though. No, that's all right. Don't, don't worry about the moving. That's the least of our worries. Make me the shoulder turn and make me that hinge and we're in business. Not as good as the first one. A little, just a little slop. Okay, it is a very useful mod. Yep. There. There, there you go. That was closer. And I'm not trying to talk you out of here. If you feel like there's a little bit of lean, don't worry about it. This isn't about, you know, that, that isn't our biggest issue. If you want to lean, go ahead and lean a little bit. I'll be more than happy to tell you when you're leaning too much. Better there. Same deal as the other club. You should see this go higher because you're going to have more effective loft at impact if your chest and the club head get there at the same time. Make sense? Sort of. So I have to be like this. Yeah, well, what's your address? Give me your address position. Okay, we just fixed that, right? Okay, leave your shoulders where they are. Rotate your belt buckle towards the target. And that's that's roughly impact. Yeah, hands are a little farther forward. I forgot that part, but bam, bam, bam. Everybody's there. Right now, you're, you know, that. And this arm is actually a little higher because yeah. that's the only chance it has to, and that brings the toe in. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, our hands used to go really high and yeah. the club would go down and shoot it right off the top. Yeah. That, well, that's because if I'm done this, the only thing I've got to try to hit the ball is uh -huh. to do that number. Uh -huh. All right, give me a couple more. Nope, bigger turn, more shoulder turn. And, and when you're watching these, don't. The last thing we care about is where the shaft's going. Okay. There. It's what's the arm, arm, arm torso shoulders. relationship, arm shoulder. Arm shoulder. And I, if I could, you know, I'm going to get my can of spray paint here in a second. And, and you know, little dot right there on that shoulder. Uh -huh. Can she show us that? How early in her backswing can she show us that part of her shoulder? Okay. There you go. It was a little bit better turn, though. Well, but we're getting, I mean, we're getting into your kitchen right now and really changing your timing. That's the... Go ahead and kick that one the, the one club out of the way, Sierra. The who's uh, whose swings do you like out there on tour right now? That do a good job on this. Probably a lot of people, I, but you know I haven't paid that much attention. I haven't paid that much attention. Anybody that you just have always kind of liked, or oh, I mean Elkington. Uh huh. Um, if you think you know Annika, yes. it would be awesome. There. That was much better. Huh? Well, but that's what we said. You're, you're going to be open. That's, that's going to be our third fix. Now, keeping the club face square to the chest.